thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Dear Miss Kim. And today we're going to say that we're talking about the appropriate outfits for work. And I think this is including not only women, but men too. Because you know, men, they be wanting to show their physiques off and whatnot. So, yes. Um, for me, all I concern is you do the job. Like, <laughs> you know, do your job, do it well, and um, be on time, come to work. And when you come to work, make sure you are focused and ready to put your best efforts forward. That is what I, I want from each and every one of um, people that work with us. And um, also, I don't think that what you put on should, I mean, well, let me say this. We are beauty industry. And so I find everything to be beautiful. Um, so to me, if you come in here, I'm gonna say, oh, that look good. Let's, take, let's do a photo shoot. So I'm totally different. Um, you know, maybe if you, the church secretary, you might not want to dress any kind of way. But for me, I'm good because I'm going to pull out the, I'm going to have somebody pull the camera out. <laughs> I definitely <laughs> think, like, in the beauty industry and that whole dress like you feel, if you come to work in a rhinestone, you know, suit, two-piece suit, no one's going to say anything to you because you have the right to do that. You look amazing, you feel amazing, so on and so forth. If you come to work in like sweats and stuff, a lot of times because we're hunkered down working so hard, it's not as big of a deal as far as the workplace attire as it is how you feel in that attire. It doesn't motivate you to work. You know, a lot of times if you're dressed too mm -hmm. grunge, you're tired, you're more right. willing to, to slouch. And, it's not even at that point it's not about what your boss wants but about your productivity mm -hmm. level. so a lot of times i you, have to disagree on that mm -hmm. i feel like a person that dresses grunge they they really they more than likely are going to be a little bit more so focused on getting what they got to get done because mm -hmm. i feel when you dress up too great and you you, you think you fly you slack on your work because you be like shoot i look too good <laughs> to be doing all this <laughs> like i done seen like for example i done seen somebody go to a show and they got some products that they trying to sell and barely could sell nothing because they look too good to talk to the people. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Mm -hmm. Like, bruh, we know you look good, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, just, you know, talk. Yeah. It hold them back. It yeah. holds them. And then I'll be thinking like, I look at the celebrities and they be all dressed up, looking all top notch. You see how they be and be all stank. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm so, <laughs> oh, I can't right now. I'm just so fly. Like, it's just, I think maybe that's just me. Cause when I'm dressed, I feel like it's time to get work done. I'm ready to uh, get on those phones. It depends on what level of dressing you're talking mm -hmm. about. What yeah, level? I can, I can dress down. I mean, like, but most of the time, if I if I'm dressed down when I like come to work, it's because I've been I've been working. Mm -hmm. and, you know, like with editing uh, video, I'm sure our videographer OJ did it. Hey. <laughs> can relate. But when you're editing, you know, you can get into a zone where you're just you're in this spot, and you just you know when you finally do come out from editing, it's like you know it's to take care of a responsibility or something. But you're still you know you you don't have time to really get dressed up like that. But you know, you, but um, but man, I, I do understand the mindset though. Like when you when I come into work, and if I'm dressed down after editing, and then everybody else is, you know, dressed up as this is a fashion industry. I'm like, damn, you know, I should put something on, <laughs> you know? And so, I mean, it, it can affect your, your mindset to um, all of that. But I, I do understand if someone, like me personally, I understand if someone comes dressed down that, you know, they, they could have just been busy or something, you know, in their life or something, but yeah. You know, what's funny about that though, you're really good at your job. And that matters when you dress, like hunker down, dressed up, if you come to work, and you're in sweats and you suck at your job, mm. everyone's just irritated with you. Yeah. Like, uh, but when you come in in sweats, it's like, don't disturb Indian. Like, we, she obviously is in the zone, focused, doing what she's doing. But if you're not on your job and you dress like someone who got it, you know, like, got it like that, to where you can just come in here looking any kind of way, it's more, it stands out more. Mm -hmm. You don't work hard and you don't dress up. It's like that you you're can't. Norm. And the same thing, you can dress up, 
don't do your job, and you can still be annoyed. <laughs> look, they look so good, they can't get nothing done. No, no, no. <laughs> you took the time to look good though, but you ain't in here. Yeah, ain't nothing. No. No. But yap in that mouth, talking, no. talking. And I you like got, you, it's both ways. You can, it's both ways. What's most important is you get the get job, the job yeah. done. And, and done have a great attitude, uh, attitude mm -hmm. and, and, and compassion mm -hmm. and passion about mm -hmm. what you're doing and know that um, your job is basically you mm -hmm. you know you have the job because of you so and, and this is what has irritated me over the years years and years that you come here with that great face i want this job and i'm going to do the very best mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden boom what happened to that person now you're talking about people in the workplace that's what get me mm -hmm. then you bring your drama mm -hmm. then i think i'm gonna sit here then the <clears throat> then you you know it's like your family when you when you at work your your work family becomes your family and then you get attitudes yeah. i'm like oh my god mm -hmm. this is too much it's really a lot of work just dealing with people's personalities yeah. on the job. And so, to me, that's what really is irritating. Like, I, you know, I appreciate the way somebody dresses. Mm. We in the fashion industry. It's the attitude yeah, yeah. and the not wanting to work or somebody just like, oh, well, I want to be off. Well, you were just off the mm. day before yesterday. Yeah, I, I think so. In, in, in a nutshell, we all agree that you know how you dress really don't matter. That's it, it honestly don't, and, and that's how I feel. Just don't come naked. Just get the job it. done. Get yeah. the job done. And we always have to understand you should not treat people differently based on what they have on. Yeah, well, we and a lot of people years ago we did, but a lot of a lot of people a lot of people don't. That that's around the world. They uh, they do around that the period, world, a no lot matter of what. Don't. Even walking down the street or going for a walk in the park, you meet up with somebody and they look a certain way, it's like, oh, maybe I should go the yeah. other way. I don't even care if I'm out and about and I see a, a 200 pound woman with some booty shorts on that are super tight and her belly is literally flipping over her shorts with a small strapless, what's some things, spaghetti strap spaghetti shirt, shirt. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? If I see in, in some wedge heels, like y'all y'all picture an outfit, <laughs> it's very vivid. I'm not about to judge you, girl. You look good. You know what I'm saying? Hey, how you doing? You know, you felt comfortable enough to put it on and Confident. wear it. Confidence. Confidence, but comfor comfortable as well to put it on. I'm I'm both of them. Comfortable and confident enough to put it on. Then I'm not about to sit here and. Um, judge you or, or put you in a box because you but you know we do judge so we you do, probably gonna say we something do. no i'm not you that are you're gonna say that, i that, didn't like those shoes that what that is what gets me <laughs> i didn't like the way the shoes but she should put on another pair of shoes with that oh that's outfit. different yeah yeah you can say that but I, what gets me is people <laughs> taking pictures of people like that and, mm, yeah. and wanting to um, mm. show other people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because of what person, of what someone has on, it's not. It's not fair. Because we I all think, had our phases of finding ourselves. Yeah. And finding. I look at Facebook memories. Yeah. <laughs> popping up from seven years ago and looking like my lashes was like out to here and. <laughs> I had on some crazy looking like liner and these looks, but at the time was I was hot. living my best That's life. Right. life. Like you couldn't tell me nothing. So if I'm looking at somebody who's going through a phase, whether they're 40, 50 years old, it still could be a phase that they need to, you know, find themselves in. I'd rather be like, you know what would be so cute on you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then. Ooh, yeah. child. Mm, cause. Yeah, exactly, all in the word. Yeah. So what do you guys think about the outfits of the Met Gala? And what do you think about them saying that Kim Kardashian should not have worn that, um, um, what is her name, Marilyn Monroe dress? That iconic dress that she wore. Yeah. I don't um, think, I didn't see an issue about it, but a lot of people are raving that she should not have worn her dress because she was such a high profile type woman. A high so, profile type woman. Marilyn. What did you say earlier? Both of them are a what? Infamously <laughs> promiscuous woman. 
they are oh, not women. <laughs> women. They're not whores. Well, well, Marilyn wasn't a whore. She was just infamously promiscuous. Yeah. At that time, in that era, just her going to the White House in the dress that she wore was like this huge deal scandalous. She didn't even do anything in it besides sing happy birthday, Mr. President, and she was all over the, the news about it. Mm -hmm. So we can't even gauge that to today. But Kim wearing that dress, for me, she just was not in the Met Gala concept. The Met Gala concept was the Gilded Age. So the Gilded Age, we're looking for colonial style garments, gold on gold on gold. A lot of people at the Met Gala this year weren't in concept. So it was- Cardi B? Cardi B was not in concept. You didn't think? She looked beautiful, but not technically concept. Billie Eilish was in concept. Um, uh, Lizzo was in concept. Like, and it was just, it was hit or miss. It was hit or miss. I was a little disappointed. <laughs> and I want everybody to also know that Marilyn Monroe was not a little woman. No. Mm -hmm. She was a size 14 or more. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, with all the pictures and frames, they want to make you feel that she was a small frame woman, but she wasn't. Mm -hmm. She she was a plus size lady, mm -hmm. you know, and people need to remember that. And, you know, most of them don't want to be um, uh, in the what, double digits as far mm -hmm. as size is concerned. I don't know. Beyonce looking like she about, she in double digits. Oh, she's in double She's always in double yeah. digits for me. But I'm, yeah. but I'm still giving you that example, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's and a she's, double, double And she's woman. a nice size yes. uh, female, but yes. when they, when they uh, want you to remember Marilyn Monroe, it's like she was a small woman and she wasn't. Right, and they have the mm -hmm. quote of, um, of, I'm sorry, what's that lady's name y'all said wore a dress? Marilyn oh, Kim. Um, Kim Kardashian. Oh, Kim Kardashian. And you know what? I, I, I mean, I, I got to give them, they good and whatnot. She got the girl name. name. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm done. I'm, I'm over the Kardashians. Like, really. go I, do something else. I'm tired of you all on the TVs and whereabouts and whatnot. I it's really, like you've gone, you've done too much. And, I, and what more can you do? Well, yeah. I don't, I don't really know who that, who that is really. And so, um. <clears throat> But I do know um, my favorite yeah. person at Met Gala was Lizzo. Lizzo was Lizzo, bomb. Lizzo, Lizzo, you don't get me great. started on Lizzo. She's what? annoying. What? Oh, oh no. you don't have enough time that's left. Lizzo. Lizzo. That's that's what really what I really want to talk about. Tony, we were doing so good. No. 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 That's who I don't want to talk about. Like, she looks so good. Oh, Chloe good. Bailey looked good. I like that dress that she had. Was that Chloe? You didn't like that. That, you mean the black? Was, I don't want to be on camera talking about Chloe right now. Right? Right? Chloe, right? I don't want to be on no, Chloe uh, Bailey. Bailey, right? Yeah, that it was it was unique. Mm. Unique. Yeah, Perfect it was. Word it was. was. Perfect Perfect word. A lot of outfits <laughs> were unique. <laughs> Um, and that's the way it should be unique when you go yeah. to the Met Gala. Yeah. It should yeah, yeah. be unique. Right. Yeah. Um, so, but you know, Kim Kardashian I always thinks she brings it. it I just the hair. <laughs> the hair was not hitting. It, that slick back platinum bun with that dress. To me, if she was gonna honor Marilyn, that hair should have just been like styled to perfection. She could have done all Hollywood if she was gonna be completely out of concept the way that she was. If we, <laughs> the let way that she was. Let's just go. Out. If we're gonna be gone, we're gonna go. You know what I'm saying? It was just like an iconic dress, basic hair. On, on. She could, do you remember that? when she went to the Met Gala with Kanye and she had that dripping look? She oh, could have yeah. took, that dress would have been perfect at that Met Gala because she could have still done the stripped wet hair, the makeup that looked like porcelain and then that dress to be like, I look like Marilyn that just stepped out of the rain. But the Gilded Age, that has nothing to do with that time period. You literally took a dress from a time period showing this has nothing to do with, with y'all. <laughs> Anna Wintour selecting a <laughs> list of people to come in her concept. Me and OJ were just talking about that. People take months to plan the Met Gala carpet, like coming in, what they're gonna wear, and getting with their designers. And for you to just be like, I'm gonna just wear a Maryland dress. Well, maybe no she reason. wants everybody to know that she's about to become a basic woman. <laughs> like She did take some plastic surgery out recently. Really? And like, she lost 20 pounds to get in that dress. So I'm hoping she just she turned should've, into she a basic She could've kept woman. that, because if she was, um, she could've kept yeah, that. Marilyn Monroe was not a size two, mm -hmm. so she could've kept the size. Well, then the Ripley's <laughs> dress that they gave her. 
was it really Maribel? I don't believe so. It could I be don't think that was the actual dress from Maribel's yeah, because, archive. Then, yeah, that, that goes to show you. They're trying to tell you, I want you to put mentally they in your mind it. that Marilyn was Not small. Real. You want me to believe she, she was a zero? You want me to like really believe Marilyn Monroe was no, with that? No, she wasn't. Kim Kardashian can fit into this dress. It's just like y'all are morphing our minds and they yeah. can't they don't the morph same me, size honey. person. I don't want to be morphed and I think that you all need to do something real else quick, real quick, real quick. Okay. If you want if you want to pick some if you had to pick some black people to see their families, like the Kardashians, give me five people you'll pick. I'm going with Lori. Chapman's. <laughs> the chat. Oh, oh yes. Look, Chapman. look at me. I'm going with Lori. Yeah, <laughs> look, Lori. Chapman. Jeez, <laughs> got me completely off. I'm sorry. Um, Lori I Harvey. I see Gabrielle Union and family. Yeah. Really? really? They're very really? interesting. They are interesting. They are interesting. You're, you're right. Individuals. I would want to, because I just love Gabrielle Union. She can't do no wrong to me. I don't want to hear nothing really? bad about her. Her, she her lifestyle is just like being Mary Jane. Like mm-hmm. she took that, took her episode, her um, her seizures, and mm-hmm. said, you know what? I want to live like that. Mm-hmm. I'm here for it. Okay. Okay. I'm trying I don't to think know. I'm trying to think street. who I would, who would I want to see do something like that? I would definitely want to see Steve Harvey. I wouldn't. Big old we see enough. Potato head. I love, I love him, but we see enough of him. Yeah, it's enough. His style, but still, we, you gotta think about it. Like his style, Marjorie's style, Lori, like, I would wanna see them. They no, fly out and go to different dango no. shows. Give like somebody the else the opportunity. Ooh, I'm done. Because they get it done anyway. They do that already anyway. Does it have to so. be a lavish life? Yeah. I, that's, but you have to understand <clears throat> that sales. It's yeah. entertainment. I don't want to see Yeah, but I, I just don't think mood. that they would be the family to do that. And I'm Spongy. actually trying to I don't want to see that. I'm like somebody. really trying to think I'm of really I'm really trying just told to you. Lori Harvey no. and their family. No. No, and then Gabriel, you Union. really want to, I mean, they need to bring the everybody there. All the children. So, uh, I, I think it should be like the Chapman. <laughs> the, the twin sisters. Uh, like, hey, 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 everybody. Okay, okay, Ain't nobody want to see them. Nobody want to see them. Okay, okay. Okay. Cardi B's family. No, I'm done. No, no, no. I don't. Not. Black. We saying black. Remember she get your, let me know. Remember what you're doing. We're talking about black people now. What did she say? Look, nah. They can be a little mixed. They can okay. be a little mixed family. <laughs> what do you think Hispanic is? We ain't gonna go there though, cause she's. See, I'm gonna say, look, exactly. we, 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 we don't go there though. Yeah, we, we are. That's what she got like, to Don't get it twisted. They just light skin, so they just, just like, like us. Light skin and dark Tiana skin, but family. I would like they to see all black. Them. I can see Tiana yeah. Taylor's like and they actual, a different language. I feel like she would be able to hold mm-hmm. herself down yeah. in a reality show. Who? Yeah. Yeah. Tiana Taylor. Oh yeah. I can see, cause I would want to see more of her and Iman family. That's a fun one. Yeah. I see Sierra. We gotta work something out with Sheen Media. Yeah. Uh, Hello. My people call your people. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in, you guys, and uh, make your comments and let us know. Yes. <laughs> and thank you again for tuning in for another episode of.